Hello, and welcome to my Back to School Night video tutorial. All the resources that I'll be discussing throughout this presentation are available in the digital handout. Let's get started. Move my face out of the way. Uh, what I'd like to cover very quickly is uh, go over the syllabus walkthrough with you, talk about Zoom and class recordings, talk about best practices for distance learning, uh, give you some important information, and then discuss the absence form for when a student misses a live Zoom class. So a quick syllabus walkthrough. Um, I've hyperlinked in the digital handout for this evening the syllabi for my classes. These are all, the syllabus are also available under the course info tab on our Canvas homepage. Uh, the, the highlight of the syllabus is the day-by-day -day outline of what we're going to be doing in class and when the assignments are due. So if we just very quickly take a look at the English 11 syllabus, Right, it covers the theme, the major tasks we'll be working on, and major focus questions. But if you look at it, I've broken down you know, for the week, what will the instructional foci be? What are the uh, graded assignments and what category will they fall under? And then because our classes meet twice a week, day one and day two, um, I've broken down each day, You know, on day one, we'll be doing this, on day two, we'll be doing that. So that's a good way to kind of know exactly what it is that your child will be doing in class on any given day throughout the first marking period for English 11. And if you scroll a little further down, you'll see that that's all completely planned out through week 10. Um, however, you see this part in red, that there are some things that we're still not 100% certain about. So for example, this is traditionally when the PSAT is done. And I, we haven't received uh, all the information, obviously, about some of these things. So I just put that in there as like a heads up to students, but also a heads up to me, um, that I may need to change some of this if that um, if administration comes back with more information about that. Uh, the same thing is very uh, is done for the IB syllabus. Uh, the major change to the program for this for this year is that we've eliminated the paper two exam at the end of the year, and that's on there. I've uh, outlined what texts we'll be reading over the course of the year, actually on the first one. And then same thing, you know, week by week, what are the assignments we're working on on day one versus day two, and what assignments are graded and for what category do they fall under? So students are highly encouraged, strongly encouraged to scan the syllabus for important dates and structure or plan their time accordingly. If they know for whatever reason, you know, four weeks from now, um, they're gonna be going on a trip and they're gonna have to miss class, they can use my syllabus to find out exactly what it is that they would be missing. You know, when they have that information, they can reach out to me, send me an email before their trip and say like, you know, hey, I'm gonna miss class. Uh, can I get this assignment early, right? And I'll do my best to accommodate them. So I'm, I highly encourage all students to do that. And if you, I highly encourage you as a, the parent to sit down with them and kind of go through the syllabus and kind of discuss, you know, well, what does this mean? What do you think that is, et cetera. Uh, a note about live Zoom classes and recordings. Whenever possible, I will be pre-recording lessons like this one and posting them on my MCPS classroom or Canvas. This helps mitigate the anxieties about student faces and voices, et cetera, being recorded and the threat of cyberbullying. All classes are recorded live, like all of our Zoom sessions are recorded live, but I'm the only one who sees those recordings. I use those to help me either collect data so I can adjust my lessons in real time, or if I need to, to um, use it to report an incident of a school code of conduct violation to administration. But that's the only time that, that will be, um, those recordings will be used on my MCPS classroom. Like I said, I will be pre-recording lessons to kind of help eliminate those anxieties. Uh, so spotlight on best practices. You know, ask your child about their class. You know, take the time to ask them what they did in class and don't let them get away with saying like, oh, I don't know, or I forget. Um, having them explain what they did in class helps the concepts stick in their mind, but it also may serve as a good reminder that they started something in class that maybe they didn't finish and they have to finish it. So whenever possible, try to make that a routine in your household. Um, setting boundaries, but keep checking those grades, right? So discuss some kind of system for checking in with your child about his or her grades. If you make the child part of this decision-making process, 
it usually goes a lot smoother and you don't have quite as much resistance coming from the child. Um, I've kind of outlined here for you a way to maybe start that conversation. And that's also available in that digital guide. Um, everything we do in my class will be on my MCPS classroom or Canvas. I highly encourage you to sit down with your child and go through the assignments with them. You'll see assignment due dates and grades, but please don't settle just for that. You know, have your child actually open his or her work and show you what they've accomplished in class. All right, uh, important information. So office hours are different depending on the class period, but that can be found under the teacher contact tab on our uh, homepage, what you see outlined in red there. Um, if it turns out that you know a student isn't able to attend those times or they have a question outside of my office hours, they're encouraged to email me and I always respond to email in less than 24 hours. Uh, parent webinars are found under the back to school night tab as well as in the tech support tab located here. Um, it's full of good videos for you know navigating teacher view, et cetera. And so you might just wanna browse through and see if any of the videos have any information that pertain to some questions that you might have. The absence form. Uh, if a student misses a live Zoom class uh, to get their absence excused, you as the parent or guardian need to fill out this form. Uh, it's located in the back to school night tab, uh, but it's also on the Seneca Valley High School website, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Okay, so when you go to the website, it, the homepage looks like this. And in the lower left-hand corner, underneath this video by Dr. Cohen, you'll see um, the live virtual lesson absence form. Um, so again, whenever uh, your child misses class, please fill out that form. Um, it's designed, sorry, the very last question of the form is supplying a parent contact email. Um, that way, you know, we don't have students kind of saying that they were being excused or filling out the form on their own. Um, so that's very important that you as the parent or guardian fill that out. Um, and then email uh, information, right? It's available under the teacher contact tab, as well as on that resource that I, the digital resource I handed out earlier this evening. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, a quick question will appear on your screen shortly. Once you've answered the question, please navigate back to Zoom and give me a thumbs up or a yes reaction to let me know that you're done. I'm very eager to work with your child this year and thank you very much for attending Back to School Night.